for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you one example which is comes under the designing of rcc slab design by using manual method as per is 456 2000 codal provision okay so firstly i will explain you uh, what are the steps that we have to follow for designing of the rcc slab uh, any slab by using is 456 2000 codal provision then after that i will explain you one a uh, simple example for designing of rcc slab as per is 456 2000 standard system okay so click on the pdf here so this is my uh, complete slab designing uh, steps as well as the uh, calculation part which is comes under the manual method as per is 456 2000 code okay so if you remember this particular uh, seven pages uh, you can able to design any one of the slab as per the standards okay so before going to designing of rc any kind of the rcc slab just we have to follow this seven steps okay so these are the seven steps we need to follow as per the calculation part which is comes under the uh, is standard system okay first step is to calculate the ratio of the length of the long span to length of the short span okay and the second step is effective depth and third step is loads calculation and fourth step is bending moment calculation and fifth one is check for the depth and the sixth one is area of the steel and last one is we need to check for the deflection also okay so these are the seven steps we need to follow and we need to keep is 456 2000 codal provision standard for the requirement of the calculations okay so first step here in this case just i am assuming for the slab designing so here i am taking the dimensions of the slab is approximately 3.01 meter cross 3.70 meter okay so just i am taking the grade of the concrete is m20 grade concrete and grade of the steel is 500 so here in this case ly is the length of the slab in y direction condition which is of long length which is of 3.7 and lx is the shorter length which is comes under 3.01 okay so if you calculate the ly by lx which is nothing but the length of the longitudinal uh, long span to length of the short span it will get the factor is uh 3.7 divided by 3.01 which is approximately equal to 1.23 value this is less than 2 basically if you have the value of the length of the long span to length of the short span is greater than 2 we will consider as one way slab so here in this case the length of the uh, uh long span to length of the short span ratio is less than 2 so that's why we need to consider as two way slab system okay so the slab will be comes under the two way slab system we need to follow the two way slab system procedure okay so second step is to calculate the effective depth so before calculating the effective depth of the any kind of the slab initially we need to assume the thickness of the slab so here in this case just i was assuming the thickness of the slab is approximately 115 m mm, okay so effective depth is approximately equal to uh, f assumed thickness minus cover plus diameter of the a uh, reinforcement bar divided by 2 this is the formula we will uh, consider from the is codal provision standard system okay so if you substitute the particular values so here in this case just i am assuming the cover will be consisting of 15 mm and as well as the diameter of the bar is 10 mm okay so 115 uh, 5 minus 15 plus 10 by 2 which is comes under the values 95 mm here okay so this is the second step third step is to calculate the loads so here in this case just i was taking the dead load of the slab which is comes under the self weight of the slab which is approximately equal to 0.115 multiplied by 25 so here in this case 0.115 is nothing but the thickness of the slab we are taking assumption and 25 is the unit weight of the concrete rcc concrete unit weight of the concrete we are consider as 25 okay so if you multiply this particular value we will get the values approximately 2.875 kN per meter square okay so second step is to assume the value of the floor finishing load which is comes under the uh, marble sand tiles which is laid on the particular slab so here in this case just i am taking the value of the marble sand tiles which is comes under the 100 mm thickness uh, maximum uh, maximum thickness so if you multiply that respect at 0.1 multiplied by unit weight of the motor 20 then it will get the value is 1 kN per meter square okay so this time assuming the lie load will be comes under 2 kN per meter square for this particular area of the slab okay so and this next one is total load calculation so total load is the summation of this particular dead load of the 
uh, sulfate of the slab and floor finishing load as well as the live load. So, which is comes under the 5.875 kilonewton per meter square. So, before calculating any kind of the reinforcement value that will be comes under the slab section, we have to consider the factor load. Okay, because of the safety of the particular structure, we will consider extra 50 percentage of the load in the designing section. Okay, so that's why just I am considering factor load is 1.5 times of 5.875, which is comes under the 8.8125 kilonewton per meter square here. Okay. So, the next one is to calculation of the bending moment value. Okay. So, before calculating the bending moment values, we need to take the coefficient values, which is comes under the alpha x value and alpha y value for the respected negative direction as well as the positive direction for the particular slab section. So, the alpha x values and alpha y value will be uh, available in the code book IS456-2000 code, uh, which is of page number 91. Okay. So, here in this case, just I am opening my IS 456-2000 Codal Provision Standard System. Just I am opening my page number 91. The table will be available in the page number 91. Bending moment coefficients for rectangular panels supported on the four sides for the uh, provision for the tension at the corners. Okay. The value of the negative as well as the positive moments will be considered from this particular table. Okay. So, uh, please see the values which is comes under the uh, shorter span coefficients which is comes under this for the particular values. Again, it will be available for the respected uh, bending moment coefficient for the slab spanning in two direction at right angles, simply supported on the four sides. Okay, these are the factors we are considered for this respected particular slab. From the table number 26, I was considered the values of the negative alpha x is 0 0.06 and uh, uh, coefficient of positive will be 0 0.045 and uh, long span coefficient negative will be of 0 0.047 and uh, positive uh, alpha y will be 0 0.035 okay so basically we need to calculate the value of the bending moment for calculating of the bending moment we have the formula uh, alpha into w into l square okay basically we are considering in the x direction condition system that's why we are taken here as alpha x into w into l x square here okay and in y direction condition we have to consider uh, alpha y into w into l square into x okay y not x here so, bending moment along the shorter span. So, here in this case, shorter span will be comes under the negative bending moment. Okay. So, negative minus alpha x into w into lx square. Okay. So, here in this case, negative minus will be comes under the 0 0.06. So, we have to substitute this particular value here in this case. And w will be of the load, factor load we are calculated over this particular step number 1. We are available with value of 8 point uh, some 1 to 5 value here. Okay. So, here in this case, I am substituting this particular value. So, Lx is the uh, length of the particular slab which is comes under the shorter span. So, here in this case, in the input, which are given the values 3.01 here. Okay. So, we have to substitute this particular value here so that it can get the value of the moment will be of 4.902 kilo Newton meter. In the same process, the positive moment will be comes under the plus sigma x into w into all, uh, l square okay in x direction so if you substitute that particular value so that it can get the bending moment value will be of 3.682 kN meter okay again in the same process in the y direction we have the formula minus alpha x into w into uh, l x square which is comes under this particular 0 0.047 into 8.8125 into 3.01 square so that we can get the value of bending moment will be of 3. 752 kilonewton meter in the same process positive will be alpha y into w into lx square which is approximately equal to 0 0.035 into 8.8125 into 3.01 square which is comes under the moment is this particular 2.794 kilonewton meter okay so here in this case the y direction moment is also considered in lx square only not ly so after calculating this particular moment we need to check for the depth okay this is the next step which is comes under the slab calculation process okay so basically we have the formula which is related to the mu equals to 0 0.138 into sigma uh, ck into b into d square okay so if you uh, substitute this but if you modify this particular formula we will get the uh, formula is d square equals to mu divided by uh, 0 0.138 into uh, 
एफ सी के इन टू बी ओके इफ यू नीड द वैल्यू ऑफ द डी वैल्यू डेप्थ सो वी नीड टू गिव द स्क्वेर फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर फैक्टर ओके सो अगेन इन द सेम प्रोसेस इफ यू सब्सिट्यूट दिस पर्टिकुलर वैल्यूज सो फ्रॉम द मूवमेंट वैल्यू वी नीड टू कंसिडर द मैक्सिम मूवमेंट विच इज कम्स अंडर द बोथ नेगेटिव और पॉजिटिव इन एक्स डायरेक्शन वाई डायरेक्शन कंडीशन सिस्टम सो इन इन दिस केस द मैक्सिम मूवमेंट विल बी कम्स अंडर द नेगेटिव एक्स डायरेक्शन केस विच इज अ फोर पॉइंट नाइन जीरो टू किलो न्यूटन मीटर ओके so here in this case just i am substituting this particular value so here i am uh, multiplying this particular value to 10 power 6 in order to get the value of the uh, mm for the particular uh, depth so just i am dividing this particular value with 0.138 into 20 into 1000 so that it can get the value will be of approximately 42.14 mm okay so assume effective depth will be just we are assuming that particular def effective depth will be of 95 mm so here in this case uh the step number 2 we are calculated the effective depth which is comes under the 95 mm so that is the assumed effective depth okay from the depth checking value it is coming greater than value which is comes under the 42.11 mm okay so if you consider the value any value which is greater than 42.14 mm it is sufficient for this particular slab so here in this case we are taking the effective depth uh, which is calculated as per the second step is 95 mm hence it is safe okay so the next step is to calculation process of the steel okay so basically at the support condition system we have the uh, steel again at the mid span system also we have the steel and spacing of the bars for the particular section okay so here in this step which is comes under the design of the reinforcement which is comes under the shorter span only which is comes under 3.01 meter length okay so at the support condition we have the formula again ast equals to 0.5 this respected formula is available in the is 456 2000 codal provision you can check the formula directly it is available in the is 456 2000 so ast equals to 0.5 into sigma ck divided by sigma y into 1 minus square root of 1 minus 4 Point six into mu divided by sigma c k into b into d square into b into d. Okay, so if you substitute this particular value zero point five into twenty divided by five hundred into one minus square root of one minus four point six into four point nine zero two into ah uh, ten power six divided by this particular twenty into thousand into ninety five square into thousand into ninety five so that it can get the values one double two point six three six mm square. Okay, in the mid span again if you substitute this particular value for 0.5 into uh, fck into in uh, fy divided by 1 minus square root of this particular value so that it can get the value will be of approximately 0.5 into 20 divided by 500 into 1 minus square root of 1 minus 4.6 into the moment value will be changes here okay so this respected value multiplied by 10 power 6 divided by this particular substitution so, so that it can get the values approximately 91.339 mm square here okay the spacing we have to provided for this respected ast requirement okay so if you consider the spacing value we are already know that formula which is related to the pi by 4 into d square divided by ast multiplied by 1000 if you substitute this particular value we already know that we are assuming that a uh, diameter of the bar will be comes under the 10 mm so if you substitute this particular 10 mm diameter bar here in this case of the diameter so that it can get the value will be a pi by 4 into 10 power square divided by 122 Uh, 0.636 multiplied by 1000 so that it can get the spacing will be approximately equal to uh, 409.667 mm square okay so adopt 20 mm uh, section for the respected particular uh, spacing option okay why because we are not considering any kind of this particular higher amount of the spacing for the slab as per the uh, standards which is provided for the is 456 2000 again ast provided will be comes under this particular spacing okay so as we want to calculate the ast provided then we have to uh, do the do the reverse calculation for the consideration okay so pi by 4 into d square divided by spacing into multiplied by 1000 so we know that the spacing value as well as this particular uh, diameter of the bar so if you substitute the value then it will get the value is approximately uh, 392.5 mm square okay so t so we have to provide the tension reinforcement which is comes under the 10 mm diameter bar which is placed at a distance of 200 mm center to center distance this is the shorter span calculation again in the same process we have to calculate the longer span calculation which is same as the process which is provided for the shorter span so required will be of approximately 0.5 into 20 divided by 5 into 1 minus square root of 1 minus 4.6 into 3.752 into 10 power 6 divided by 
ట్వంటీ ఇంటూ థౌజండ్ ఇంటూ నైంటీ ఫైవ్ స్క్వేర్ ఇంటూ నైన్ థౌజండ్ ఇంటూ నైంటీ ఫైవ్ సో దట్ ఇట్ కెన్ గెట్ ద వాల్యూ నైంటీ త్రీ పాయింట్ వన్ త్రీ ఫోర్ ఎంఎన్ స్క్వేర్ ఎట్ ద మిడ్ స్పాన్ విచ్ ఇస్ కమ్స్ అండర్ ద మూమెంట్ ఆఫ్ టూ పాయింట్ సెవెన్ నైన్ ఫోర్ ఇంటూ టెన్ పవర్ సిక్స్ ద రెస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద వాల్యూస్ విల్ బి సేమ్ దట్ ఈస్ కమ్స్ అండర్ దిస్ పర్టిక్యులర్ వాల్యూ వీ హ్యావ్ టు కన్సిడర్ దిస్ పర్టిక్యులర్ నైంటీ త్రీ పాయింట్ వన్ త్రీ ఫోర్ ఈస్ ద మూమెంట్ వాల్యూ ఫర్ ద క్యాలిక్యులేషన్ ప్రాసెస్ సో స్పేసింగ్ విల్ బి అప్రాక్సిమేట్లీ ఈక్వల్ టు దిస్ పర్టిక్యులర్ ఫైవ్ బై ఫోర్ ఇంటూ డి స్క్వేర్ ఇంటూ ఏఎస్టీ so which is of 93.134 into 1000 so that it can get the values here again uh, 340 approximately so but we have to add up the uh, low value for this particular consideration as per the standards so here in this case just i am considering 200 mm so ast provided will be approximately equal to pi by 4 into d square into spacing multi- multiplied by 1000 so that it can get the values approximately 392.5 uh, mm squ- uh, sorry 392. Point uh 5 mm square for the respected consideration okay so here in this case we have to consider the, again the tension bar which is comes under the 10 mm diameter bar which is placed at a distance of 200 center to center distance so for the respected shorter span and longer span the same amount of the reinforcement is getting so again of after calculating the reinforcement value we need to check for the deflection this is the important one okay so deflection will be comes under length of the uh shorter lx divided by d provided less than uh l divided by uh d maximum this is the formula we have to follow lx by d provided which is equals to 3010 this is the length of the uh, slab which is of full, uh, shorter span divided by effective depth which is of 95 so that it can get the value 31.684 so l by d maximum which is equals to modification factor multiplied by 32 okay Modic- modification value will be ca- calculated according to the formula and according to the graph which is provided in the page number 38 of IS 456-2000 Codal Provision Standard. So here I am opening my page number 38. Now you can see this is the uh, uh, graph we have to follow for calculation of the modification factor. Fs equals to 0.858 into Fy into area of the cross section uh, steel required by area of the cross section steel provided. Okay, this is the formula. Basically, we will consider this particular modification factor from this plot. Okay. So, here in this case, just I was I want to calculate the value. So, Fs equals to 0.2 AST required by AST provided. So, here in this case, if you substitute this particular value, then it will get Fs equals to 90.610. So, PT percentage, okay, which is equals to AST divided by B into D into 1000. So, if you substitute the value, 122.636 divided by uh, 1000 into 95 into 100. So, that it can get the value is 0.13. So, L by D in maximum equals to, we had to substitute this particular value. For this particular value of Fs and Pt, the value of the modification factor will be get as 2. Okay. So, L by D max equals to 2 into 32 value. So, that it can get the values approximately 68.4 here. Okay. So, L by D provided equals to 31.684 we are uh, get here. Okay. So, here in this case, the value of the L by D provided is less than L by D max, which is of uh, 64. So, in this case, uh, the deflection is safe for the particular slab section. Okay. So, this is the complete calculation part, which is comes under the RCC slab design by using manual calculation method as per IS 456-2000 codal provision standard system. If you have any queries about this respected video, please try to text me your questions in the below comment box. I will try to give the answer for that respected questions. And if you need this video, please uh, text me to my mail which is available on the about us page so you can check my mail and you can text me so that i will drop you this particular pdf in your mail okay thank you